Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Influx DB on Ubuntu 22.04 LDS version. Then we will see how to start, stop, restart and connect to Influx DB on Ubuntu operating systems. Let's connect to Ubuntu machine. Now open Firefox, also open Terminal. In Firefox, go to Influx data.com see here manages all types of time series data in a in a single purpose built database now click on developer and then click on documentation then click on influx oss then click on install influx db Now select Linux. In Linux, now we are in Ubuntu machine. So copy this link to download the Debian package. Go to terminal. Also notice here, you can select the version. Based on that, the command, the version number will be changed. Okay. I am going to install the latest one. Then copy it. Go to terminal. sudo and paste that command. See, the size is 44 megabytes. See, we have successfully downloaded Influx DB. So, version is 2.7. LS. See, we have Debian package. Now, install Influx DB by running the command sudo dpkg i, then pack Debian package name. This is the Debian package. INF, then use the tab. It automatically fills. Then hit enter. We have successfully installed Influx DB2. Let's verify. Control L to clear the screen. sudo system CTL status Influx DB. See, it is installed but it is not started. Let's start it. sudo system CTL start Influx DB. It's a typo error. It is success. Now again verify sudo systemctl status influx db. See the influx database server is started. See it is active and running. Press Q to quit. Now enable influx db service to start automatically whenever the Linux machine or Ubuntu machine restarts. Command is sudo systemctl enable influx db. It is success. If you want to restart influx database, just give sudo systemctl restart influx db. We have successfully restarted. Verify whether whether it is restarted or not. See, it is restarted 8 seconds ago. Press Q to quit. sudo efw hello tcp8086 tcp. So, we have added inflex port that is 8086. Now, go to Firefox, then localhost. Then 8086. See, this is the influx dashboard. Click on get started. Now we have to set the user. Give the username. I am giving influx admin and provide the password for this user. You can give anything for organization name and bucket name. Then click on continue. Don't save. See, this is the API key. Copy to clipboard. Click on advanced 
or click on kick start see this is the dashboard if you want to connect to influx cla click on it then click on next if you want to install dependencies you have to copy this zip file then unpack then place this in the environment variables then run these commands so i'm going to do one by one copy this command open terminal paste it its size is 5 megabytes then untap this one it is my mistake tar x v zf then give the tar file name. this is a tar file name and hit enter this success now copy this sudo going to set the path that means environment variables cd influx pwd so instead of this command just give sudo cp then copy this path then give this bin direct hit and u hyphen r the success here we have to give influx now run influx hyphen hyphen version see we got some output at least control l to clear the screen influx help so we have successfully set the environment for influx now click on next it is going to create these operations click on next again next next click on next we have successfully configured now click on dashboards at present i don't have any dashboards you can search here or click on drop down or click on create dashboard then click on new dashboard like this we can then we have to click on add cell like this we have to create the dashboard again go back to main menu see we have set influx server agent and influx cli you want to load data you have to click on this one if you want to see notebooks you have to click on this one okay again if you want to see the variables or templates you have to click on this settings see this is the influx cli version so in this video we have seen how to install and configure the influx db on ubuntu linux then we have seen how to connect to influx dashboard for more influx db tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you